Do you remember Jon Stewart? He used to host The Daily Show. It was liberal, but witty. But democracy, when it grows, is not a fragile flower. It is a healthy, sturdy tree. <laughs> and that tree is a family tree. It's a family man, for no man is an island except for the Isle of Man. Where is that? You know what? <laughs> F it, I'm going to go paint a cat. Then Jon Stewart retired to go live on a farm where he doesn't have to shave every day. And I'm jealous of the not shaving. Farms make me nervous. I get the sense math is involved, and if I have to do math to eat, I won't. So Stewart left his show to Stephen Colbert, and then everybody realized how talented he really was. But he wasn't just a host. John did stand up. He was a writer. He even acted. Did you ever see the back of a $20 bill, man? No, I don't know, yo. Did you ever see the back of a $20 bill on weed? That role wasn't a stretch for Stewart because we hear he grows all kinds of things on his farm. Here he is showing a little more range in another film. Uh, tomorrow I'm leaving for China to represent the fine firm of Morton and Mandel. Yes, me, the same guy who once shaved his ass to win a $5 bet. He has Hunter Biden down. Stewart has skills. And he has to be smart because he's rich. Isn't that how it works? So this rich and talented smart Alex suddenly reappeared on TV Thursday, but he wasn't telling jokes. I'm used to lies. I'm used to hypocrisy. Uh, I'm used to their cowardice. I'm not used to the cruelty. So Pat Toomey, the Republican from Pennsylvania, he, his amendment addresses how this $400 billion in the bill can be spent. He says it's, as it's written, the money can be used for things unrelated to veterans. That's nonsense. And burn pit exposure. It's just utter nonsense. Nothing matters to them. Nothing penetrates that bubble that they live in of procedural b There are real people who face tragic consequences for their parliamentary Whoa there, little fella. I like that kind of passion, but what are we talking about here? My producers told me John's on a press tour saying Republicans are blocking a bill that would help veterans who got sick from toxic burn pits in Afghanistan and Iraq. But before we could figure out what was going on, Stewart was on every channel, CNN, MSNBC, the Home Shopping Network, all the hosts totally unprepared, but along for the ride. If John Stewart wants to come on their show last minute, drop F-bombs and bash Republicans for not supporting the troops, book it. Last night, Stewart asked us if he could come on primetime, but we had a packed show. We had to cover how the president's compromised by China, the country just entering a recession, and we needed to hear from real Americans. First Lady Jill Biden compares you to this, a taco. How do you feel about that? I'm human. We just didn't feel like we really knew what Stuart was talking about. And between the five and prime time, it was too late in the day. We like to be prepared. It might not always appear that way, but we try. While I was devouring my croissant and the New York Post this morning, I noticed Stuart on Fox. Do you still believe that this bill will get done in some form? Boy, I pray, Bill. You know, it has to. These men and women have suffered for so many years exposed to these, and the government has not fulfilled their promise to them, and it, it has to get done. Tell someone with cancer that's been fighting this for years that eventually they'll get the help that they've earned. That is not an acceptable answer. It is despicable to continue to use America's men and women who are fighting for this country as political pawns John Stewart living out of his car, that's the definition of a recession. But we agree with Stewart. This bill is being held up in the Senate, and that's wrong. Our veterans should get the help they deserve immediately. John's heart's in the right place, but his blame's misguided. His friends in the Democratic Party are the ones to blame. Schumer is the one playing games. And you guys are using each other to make Republicans look cold. Senator Toomey points out the reason Republicans shot this version of the bill down is because Schumer attached a gimmick to it that opens the door for hundreds of billions in mandatory spending that doesn't even help veterans. Listen. 
completely unrelated to the $280 billion of new spending, there is a mechanism created in this bill, it's a budgetary gimmick that has the intent of making it possible to have a huge explosion in unrelated spending, $400 billion. This budgetary gimmick is so unrelated to the actual veterans issue that uh, has to do with burn pits that it's not even in the House version uh, of this bill. So Republican Senator Pat Toomey offered an amendment to fix Schumer's tricky little accounting gimmick. One simple change would make sure every taxpayer dollar goes to helping veterans and not bake in $400 billion of more inflationary spending. And Schumer shot it down. Senate sources are telling primetime that Schumer has now agreed to Toomey's amendment and the bill John Stewart and all of us care about is expected to pass early next week and this ginned up drama will be over. I'm not gonna blame John for not knowing all the facts. Going forward, let's do this. I'll do the research and John Stewart can handle the farming. It's better for everybody that way. And we do sincerely appreciate his support for our veterans. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.